side, yeah, left like a floor. And what's up with these new niggas rapping? Grab a gun and go get you some action. We shoot movies, we with that action. We do all the action. Like, DJ, my brother, I'm taking that risk. Like, I just capping and catching no hits. Like, I stop beating, got beat all his kicks. Like, she know why I told you to be a fool. Like, baby, my brother, he know what to do. Like, Stunning, he geeking out the beat all his kicks. Like, really, why not be with a stick? Like, why OG, but they never on nine. Catch Black or we sending a dozen. He said, this is my block with that boy said he. Welcome back to WSU Radio, the number one college radio station in New York City. With your host, Intro.Kev. Today we have a very special guest here. We got T. Dot. Niggas know what we doing. I ain't gonna lie. Alright, how's it going? How's life? How's everything? Shit, help you. Chilling and shit, for me. Chilling? Yeah. Alright. So, you know, when we when people first heard of you, it was like the Bunny Hop song. Now, it finally hit a mill. You know, now it's already going towards 1.5. It's at like 1.1 right now. How's that feeling now? Like your first song is like a mill. And now you have a second song with Talk Fats. It's already 500k in, in one week. Now it's already on its way to hit a mill. How's that feeling now? I ain't gonna lie, shit feel good, bro. That shit gave me wild motivation, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Bunny Hop, I knew that shit was gonna hit. But I ain't know it was gonna hit. That's why I posted on Raps and Hustles. I fake knew yeah, it was gonna get up there, but I ain't know it was gonna hit a mill. So my son did like, yo, we're gonna post that shit on Raps and Hustles for me. Mm. Fake cow, fan base and shit. All right. I'm like, I. I got I got locked up and shit, for me. Came home. I ain't even come home. I'm on home passes and shit. So for me, that shit hit a mail. I'm bugging. And I'm talking my shit now. I'm starting moving mad famous and shit. <laughs> for me, I'm like, all right. And then this shit, I already knew this shit was going to shoot. I ain't going to lie. Niggas wanted to see what I had to say. All right. Niggas was talking their shit. Talking facts. I ain't mm-hmm. going to lie. And when talking fast, it's like it's like the first time you coming back, showing like this is a new T dot in no, a way, that's right? A fact. Hell yeah. So how are you gonna be consistent now after dropping talk facts? You know, how are you gonna become more prevalent as an artist right now? Ain't gonna lie. I'm a for me, I'ma keep keep pro- making progress and shit. For me. Mm. I'm not gonna stop. Who the fuck who who feel <laughs> what? I keep going. I ain't gonna lie, I should give me wild motivation. Finally came the week though. A couple mm-hmm. of famous niggas don't even do some shit like that. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Or yeah. Couple of, for me. So I'm gonna keep going. With that with that fame is like now you're walking down, you know, whenever you're in the RPT and stuff like that, kids are coming up to you like T and so like, how's that's that feeling? Fine. Also how's the how's that feeling too? Because that's also part of the fame, you know, the kids are looking up to you now, trying to you know, maybe try to rap like you because they're like, yo, you feel me? T Dot my favorite rapper, I wanna rap like him. Now you sing all that. Sing yeah. that. Facts, baby. That shit give me wild hype. Like they be saying a couple, like a couple of my verses and shit. You mm. feel me? Be laughing with them, right. hugging them and shit. I ain't gonna lie, they really look up to us. No funny shit, gangster. And speaking about like fans, what's the weirdest fan interaction you had? The weirdest fan interaction. I ain't gonna lie, it was a few. For me, niggas, niggas be, bro, niggas be walking up to me on some fan shit, asking about my son. Like, I ain't gonna lie, my son D thing and shit. They be yo, T D thing really for me I ain't gonna talk too much, but for me they they be asking me where shit, bro. I be telling them, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> Y'all coming up to me actually. Yeah, like, for me, what the fuck is wrong with that? I'm not a D thing, nigga. But for me, that's my it's my heart, it's my day one. So I, for me, I'm gonna speak off him if he's not there. How did you guys meet D thing? <laughs> me. That's really my muddy, bro. You know, you know, that's really my muddy since Keto, since young. And I grew up with that nigga forever, bro. Forever. Mm. And it's crazy because when I interviewed D Thing four months ago, he was like, You're gonna see there's a lot more of us than you just me and um T Dots. He's like, There's gonna be way more and then you see in the next four or five months you see Bandos blowing up, you see Huge Jesus blowing up, all of them is blowing up but like back to back to back and I was like it's like a huge collective of like of artists that's like blowing up at the same time. Like how does that feel like you guys are all going up right now? Yeah, that's a fact, but we just got to stay out the way. I ain't going to lie. Just mm-hmm. keep this music shit going. Stay out the way. Right. What we got to do to be consistent. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I was watching one of the interviews with Nate the Dancer, and she compared herself with Bando D thing as a like young money. Hold on, hold on. Before you, she put him in that too, but she, he ain't put it, he, he ain't X that clip out because it was like the, like, the three, know, yeah. Like, so, he wasn't home. <laughs> Where you put yourself in the young money, you know what I'm saying? I know you're a part of it, then you just admit. So, if you had to compare yourself to one of the young money artists, who would you want to compare yourself to? I ain't gonna lie. I don't really know. I, I, don't, 
I don't compare myself to nobody, but right. I just do what I do. For me, if you don't like it, fuck it. I know I'm a jacket. My mm-hmm. niggas gonna jack it, and I'm just keep it like that. Alright. And with D thing, I wanna continue with the D thing. What's the funniest story you guys have together? I don't know. Bro. Guys, niggas know I ain't gonna lie. That day had me crying. What a bro. I said yeah. stunner. I ain't gonna lie. She had me dead, bro. That's probably. That, that was one of the funniest moments I had with him. I ain't gonna lie. Wait, you was there, son? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. That shit had us crying, nigga. What about I was weak the whole nigga, night, bro? Wild pain and shit. <laughs> wild. Nah, Yo, buddy, what's your weekend. funniest part? He's wild. Yes, he's <laughs> like, no, bro. He should have super smart. Nigga, bro. But yeah, that was one of the funniest moments, bro. It'd be funny, too. Like, we'd be arguing and shit, because that's like, really my brother. Like, we argue all the time, like, before I got booked and shit. We was arguing every day about dumb shit, bro. And it was like, I ain't gonna lie. That shit used to be having me dead, bro. She used to be dead ass serious, but I used to be like, it was not that serious, bro. <laughs> For me, but. You guys arguing about music or is like other things? Nah, not music. I don't. We ain't gonna lie. We really be on each other's back with that music shit, bro. Mm-hmm. Dead ass, bro. You need a street shit. Put that shit in the bag real quick. I ain't gonna lie. She gotta go. Mm-hmm. We focus on this shit. Get up out of here. Let me do what we do. Right. What do you think you want to be the end goals? Like right now, you know, 2021 is going to come to a year in December. What do you think is like T Dot needs to do this? Like, I need to achieve this. I know for a male in a week probably be good, but what else would you want to achieve? I ain't going to lie, bro. I need to get, I think I need to get my, I ain't going to lie, I need to get more fan bases. I ain't going to lie. My fan base going up right now, but I need to get a little bit more. For me, I need to start dropping wild. New T dot bro. Get in my bag, E P album. I gotta go crazy, bro. Alright. Wait, Dead bring you more T dot with the album E P would you wanna be a solo album, a solo EP, or would you wanna have the nah, I'm a I'ma collab. Collab. Of course, do you think I'm a collab, but that's really my brother, bro. Ain't gonna lie, bro. That's really my brother. I'm a collab with him. Mm-hmm. A few songs. Then I'm gonna have songs dolo. Then I'm gonna fake try to have other artists for me. Who are some of the artists on your radar? Ain't gonna lie. It has to be in New York. You can be outside if you're in tune like Atlanta artists, Chicago, all of them. I'm not really in tune with them yet for me, but niggas I want to make a song with, for my son, Dirk, like niggas like that. But if you're talking about like, ain't gonna lie, how I am right now, upcoming and shit, all right. my son, Leaky G Bando, Kosh Rock, niggas like that. Like, right. for me. And are you, when coming with a whole new wave and all these new music dropping, is it always going to be drill or are you going to try to tap into different genres? Miles, for me, I'm going to tap into way different shit from the Uncle Lottie loving this drill shit right now. So for me, I'm going to just continue going. Right. So I feel like it's going to be a point where I think that shit about to die out. For me, then I'm going to. Switch it up. Or, and you said that you want to market yourself more and bring out more T-Dot. And you mentioned earlier with the raps and hustles. How do you feel as an artist? Like, should upcoming artists be paying are you, or trying to get these, like, platforms like Raps and Hustles, Flotastic TV, Meet the Connect? Should it, is it worth it or you, you don't think? I ain't gonna lie. It's, it's fake worth it. I ain't gonna lie. Because you... If you just started rapping and you think you about to post it on your page and that shit about to go skyrocket, I ain't gonna lie, you bugging. That shit take time, bro. You just did. It's different though. Niggas knew me before I put that shit on my page. Like I been fake had a fan base. Yeah. Off rap of Bunny Hop. Niggas used to be that shit used to get me tight because I used to think that shit was trash after a while. Niggas used to pull up to me, Bunny Hop, Bunny Hop. Like that shit used to get me tight. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, it's that's a good for me. So good. That's, I feel like it's gonna get them up there. Besides those platforms, on um, Instagram, do you think? Well, what platforms on Instagram do you think you should be posting on it for like a New York artist like yourself? Like what you mean? Like, do you think like you know, there's talk of the town, there's um the NY Joe page. Do you think those are important as well? Like, I ain't gonna lie, they fake. They trying, to, me, they they trying to do their thing. I ain't gonna lie, I'll give it to them. They bringing niggas. They trying to. Expose more niggas out and mm-hmm. shit for me. I ain't gonna lie, they doing, they doing their thing. 
Right. And is there other ways you want to promote your music? There's TikTok, or will we see T down to TikTok or? I can, that shit was on TikTok. Yeah, I I do that shit. Get that shit shooting. If Bunny Hop, that shit was on TikTok. I seen a few couple of dances. You think had a little like dude, whoever got the best TikTok and shit, you get a right. award and shit. And shit happened. I ain't gonna lie. I already know the answer, but I always, I always want to ask this, though. Do you feel like Bunny Hop is the best dance that came out the Bronx? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> of course. I never knew the answer. Niggas, bro, even niggas that we don't even jack use that shit, bro. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, that shit, that shit is, or the drilly bop, all that. That shit is, ain't going to lie. Shit. All that, ain't going to lie. Free drillies, ain't going to lie. For my son Spaz. Thanks, you know. Do you guys think... You guys gonna come up with the next dance or are you guys gonna stay with the Jilly Bob and um Bunny Hop? Yeah, we're gonna come up with the next dance. Ankle law, that new punch and shit that they got going on, that should be having me dead, but uh, oh with the, the like, shit the D thing, nah the shit with uh, D thing and my son we gonna be doing. And this shit oh, is be having that should be we having made me that Nigga, we made that up. What the fuck are you talking about? We made that up. So Nigga see us start doing geeking. It? I don't know, bro. Niggas be fanned out. But not gonna yeah. But that stop, bro. Ain't gonna lie. And seeing the recognition with D thing, he gained Meek Mill covering like he probably that's a huge artist reaching out. Who's like one big artist that reached out to you that you didn't even know they were in tune with you? Ankle uh, My son my son yeah, my son two two G's, ain't gonna lie. Shout out shout out to Blickies. Wow, fuck my son two two G's, he's a gangster. But nobody really I ain't gonna lie. Nobody really else, ain't gonna lie. Nobody else really. Not yet. Trust me. Shit's gonna start coming in soon. I ain't gonna real, real soon. How soon can we see the next single after Talk Facts? Oh, man. I ain't gonna lie. I can't talk about that, bro. Can't talk? <laughs> real soon, bro. Nah, real soon. Once, once it hit a mill, y'all gonna get so much. We gonna be dropping back to back to back to back. I'm out of shoot a video and shit tomorrow and shit. But. Just know. I'm hold that shit. We coming with a bolt on the heat. Throwing another one. Throwing another one. I don't want to say too much. That shit. I'm throwing another one. I'm just keep I'm keep going. Keep going. I ain't gonna lie. Gangsta, bro. We just trying to get the sound right. Um, Really the sound, production, and stuff like that. To make yeah. sure that everything you know. Like, so you're you not know, trying to force it and yeah, shit. So that shit come out you know how people mad, come home, unorganized, bro. Music and just put it out there because everybody want it. That right. shit be getting tight. I be rushing. So you like to make music for yourself instead of the fans, basically. I, I ain't gonna lie. To me, yeah. Like, when we in the studio, like, my niggas really give me that energy, bro. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie. The first, I may talk facts, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Niggas gave me that energy. My mm -hmm. son, details like, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I don't think you got to steal money. <laughs> like, bro, what? Oh, you sound crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. He, he did his verse. Band of Day shit. No, no. I got I to gotta talk some facts. I got to talk facts, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I talk my shit. And speaking of my studio sessions, do you remember your first ever studio session? Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> me, Bando, and D Dang, bro. You made some shit called Now Now Drop or some shit like that. But that shit was cold, bro. Ankle law. When we first started rapping, niggas was jacking it. I'm not even gonna lie to you, niggas was jacking it. Alright. Like we thought that shit was dirt. They used to oh you still you don't bump it no more? I ain't gonna lie, bump it to life and shit. Like, you really right. came from from this, bro, to now, bro. All right. So, all right. And then how do you feel you evolve as an artist then from that to now? Well, I feel like I expanded, but I ain't gonna lie. I used to... I used to it was some words I, I want to say. I can't even know how to say it, bro. But now, for me, I got more smarter. Start thinking more. Know how to put my words in order. Now I know what I want to say without saying what I want to say. Sometimes it depends. Niggas is dissing, it's over. Dissing, we can do this. Niggas on some regular calm drill shit, but if niggas still want to hear it, I'm doing some drill shit. Right. When the drill, when the drill shit, I know, I noticed that it plateaued a little bit last year, and what took it off was the whole sample drilling. And now yeah. you guys are using the samples too. What are some of the samples that we can see you hop onto, like with the the beat and drill. I ain't gonna lie. Elvis got some shit. I ain't gonna lie. Gangsta, bro. Elvis got some shit. Yazora. Fuck with Yazora sometimes. I don't know. I don't know. 
I, I see Elvis. He be working and all that. If you can tell Elvis to make one song, an old song, to into a sample drill, what song would it be? Of mine? No, like, oh, 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 like an old song he can sample that you would want on a drill song, on a drill beat. Damn, I ain't gonna lie. That's tough. That's tough, bro, because he be really doing his thing, bro. Yeah. Um, Who were some of the artists you was growing up listening to? Like from Young? Yeah, like, you know, those songs. That like, you can... I used to listen to Meek. I ain't gonna lie, I used to listen to fucking... I ain't gonna lie, I've been listening to Wild Niggas, bro. So, real, but the songs that I knew before, I don't even know now. I can't even, I can't even remember them. That's how real it is, bro. My mom used to be playing wild bullshit on the radio, and I used to just hear it. For me, I ain't gonna lie, I used to jack it, though. Yeah, especially well, that's radio. Drake, Nicki Minaj, like. And one of the radio songs is Talk Facts. That song was all over the radio like a couple years ago. Nah. Right? Talk Facts. Nah, nah, nah. It was, um, it was Marathon. 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 That one. No, Marathon. I was talking about this one too. This is um, the, the sample for Talk Facts. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's Hell a radio yeah. song. Hell yeah. So. I know, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Right. And with those artists that you said, Meek and all them people you was listening to, right? If you could choose a, if could choose a Meek Mill song as a sample, what do you think would sound hard um, over a Joe beat? Probably Dreams and Nightmare, or 1942 Flows. Yeah, one of them shits. I right. I feel like Dreams and Nightmare gonna be deaf though. Oh, Angle, I feel like Dreams and Nightmare gonna be dead. Yo, Elvis, you nice. hearing this? Dreams and Nightmares, drill beat for T Dot. I'm just gonna go up. I'm gonna talk my shit. So, for you, when you make a song, you say you're gonna talk that shit, right? Do you care about the lyrics and what you say or the flow? I ain't gonna lie, the flow, you gotta be on beat and the flow gotta be deaf. Like, the beat really gotta be good too. I ain't gonna lie, shit gotta be knocking, bro. The beat trash, and you going there trying to talk your shit. Last shit, not, not gonna wanna put no energy in that shit. I ain't gonna lie. But your flow and the beat gotta be different. Fuck your verse. Once that shit in, your, your verse gonna flow right with it. Right. Like, I don't, whatever, well, however you rap, bro, shit gonna flow right with it. Right. And you said that the first time you made it, you didn't like, you said you didn't like Bunny Hop. So, I, I like I like Bunny Hop, but that shit got overplayed a little bit. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, niggas dragged it a little bit. All right. So as an artist, do you feel like when you drop a song, like three weeks later, you just get tired of it? Like every song you drop? And nah. Then... Nah. So what's one song beside, uh, one song from you that you can just continue listening to and it will never get boring to you? It will never get dragged out another day? I ain't gonna lie to facts. I know it's gonna be one of them songs, bro. Shit got five million. I'm st- 10 million. Still gonna listen to that shit. I ain't gonna lie. We was really talking about shit, bro. Legendary, right? Word for word, like everything. Let's talk facts then. So, what's the studio session like? How did that happen? You know, like I, I came, I was, yeah, I can't. That was on a Saturday. I came on a home pass. For me, I came. I was like, yo, I ain't gonna lie to you. You gotta get in the stool, bro. And we out. We had took us to the stool. No, I was feeding for the stool. I was like, bro, we out to the stool, bro. We out to the stool, bro. Trying to make a new song and shit. I was like, all right, bro. My son G's pulled up. Like, we out. Me and my son D thing and Bando. We went. We fake was procrastinating. OD, bro. Trying to find the beat. But that Elvis shit popped up. Played it. And Glass shit was knocking, bro. We got on that. My son did like, nah, I'm jacking this, bro. I'm jacking this. Ben like, nah, we on this. Nah, we out. Like, Why they rapping? I'm just sitting there writing. Writing. But like my last couple of bars, I was freestyling. I ain't gonna lie. Because I fake. I was running out of time and shit. It's in the eye, but we out. Fake freestyle that shit. I ain't gonna lie, I shoot. Did that. And I noticed that all three of you guys under a paper to try this record. Of course. They're not saying that. No. Right? <laughs> it is. I ain't going to lie. So were you there from the creation of that? Of course. Right. So I, was, I was there from the start. But I ain't going to lie. Did some shit. I got booked. You know. Soon be home, though. 
Very, real, real soon, bro. Real soon. Saying where it came from, how big do you think it can get? Shit could go so far, bro. If niggas really lock in, bro. And really fuck everything else but this music shit, bro. Shit could go dumb far, bro. And it's his own shit, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So it's like, shit well, could go far. What's the meaning behind the name? Paper touches. Paper touches? Yeah. PTs. There's mm -hmm. no RPT. RPT, yeah. We're part of town. There's no, bro. Mm -hmm. And I asked D thing when he was here about RPT. What does RPT mean to you? It's like a. It's like, well, I just. I, when I be away and shit, I just love that shit. That shit just in my heart, but I ain't gonna lie. No matter where I'm at, like, I, I'm not gonna forget about it. That shit is family, friends. I ain't gonna lie, it's really, it's that lane right there, I ain't gonna lie. It's that lane. And I was gonna know, what's the origins of the name T-Dot? I know it's T-Dot to Oppy, you shorting it to T-Dot. Yeah. So how did you get T-Dot? I ain't gonna lie, my nickname, bro, that shit was bad nickname. I ain't gonna lie, I used to only like when the females called me that. I used to be like, yo, Tutu, it's the word and shit. Like, a lot of things start getting older, I'm not jacking that Tutu shit anymore. Call me T dot. I'm a demon on time, man. That's what the dot mean. For me, that's it. Can't talk too much, but I'm a demon on time. Man. Wait, did you know T dot was always gonna be your rap name, or did you have like other? I ain't gonna lie. I used to have some funny name shit. I ain't gonna lie. I used to. <laughs> I started rapping, bro. Nah, I knew my name was gonna be T dot. I ain't gonna lie. <clears throat> like, it's probably like what. I just got that name like two, three years ago, four years ago probably. For me, I wasn't, I just wasn't jacking that nickname, so I'm like, nah, I gotta switch my shit to T dot bro. And then I just made up a. What it mean? What I mean, okay. Yeah, I had some before. Before I used to like, when I was a kid and shit. I used to just try to rap, you just try freestyle, say some whole bullshit, but I wasn't going to the stool. I used to just do some weird shit. You was rap battling everyone? No, I wasn't rap battling. I was rapping to myself. Oh, okay. Some, some dumb shit. For me, I thought I was going to have a, I had some funny nickname shit in my head. Like, imagination. And I ain't going to lie. Now look, look, look where it turned out. He gave Shit went far. Yeah, you went, you thinking about yeah. how you said you were just freestyling just for fun to yourself, and now you're getting... Half a million a week, like you can see the growth is Hell crazy. Yeah. Hell yeah! So like now your verses are getting better, and I want to know, Stunna, what do you think is the best verse T Dot ever said? Say best verse. Best verse. <laughs> you we got shot at his. You we got shot at his. <laughs> 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 oh my dog! Oh nah, that's nah, 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 nah. Fuck Green Bay, bitch. We do all the pack it. I got that was. Hey, what you say? Say, say, look. So many new niggas rapping. Like, grab a gun and go mad. Some niggas action. So, with those verses and those songs, how do you decide what songs you want to keep in the stash and what songs you want to release to the public? Um, first, like, I be doing chill shit, shit to my song. Some niggas jacking it, for me if they jacking it. I ain't gonna lie, they was really jacking talk facts though. I had, they was fiending, bro. Fiending, bro. I had to drop that shit. Think, bro, we gotta drop this shit. At first, it was gonna be one and part two. But we like, nah, bro, this shit too fire, bro. DJ was like, bro, fuck that shit. We don't even talk facts, bro. I'm like, all right, bro. My son Bando was jacking it. Some Bando was like, nah, bro, we gotta drop this shit, bro. This shit is tight, bro. I'm like, all right, bet. It's one and part. The first one, and that shit was supposed to bend drop. The niggas was playing. We still gonna drop that. Shit gonna be one, but we gonna drop that. All right. Later, I ain't gonna lie. It seems like you're very attached to talk facts. So oh, yeah. how do you feel like, how are you gonna follow up talk facts? Cause I gotta come stronger. All right. Can't. This at the bar high. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. This shit said it, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. New YouTube and all that, bro. 500K, 17 likes. All right. 17K likes. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, bro. So Subscribers got up. Does the so numbers give you a lot of motivation, or what else give you motivated as a rapper and keeps you focused? My niggas give me motivation. My mom give me motivation. I ain't gonna lie, but my mom be wanting me to rap on some right. melodic type shit. Not even melodic, just on some 
She don't want me to do drill. I'm telling her, like, this shit, the wave and shit, for me. But, you know, my niggas, seeing my views, my fan base. Everybody got their own fan base, for me. Right. Fan base. What is one yeah. advice your manager gave you about the music industry? It's going to come soon, bro. You just got to keep going, but you got to work for what you earn, for me. You got to work. You got to get there, bro. Don't rush it. It's going to come, bro. Shit, stay consistent. Keep dropping. Don't let shit get to you. For me, just gotta do what you gotta do. All right. Um, you know, this is my last question. I always ask this question. You know, when people bring up T Dot in the future, or you know, what type of impact they want to leave on the game? When people, what should be right next to T Dot? Fucking God. <laughs> want to be a fucking God. <laughs> they think of T Dot a demon, God, like a de- like some. All this shit, like, nah, he burnt out. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> 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 gonna be some different shit, like nobody ever out. was before. <laughs> right. I ain't gonna lie. I want to leave this last part because you said when we was walking up, you want to talk your shit. Anything you want to say to the fans, to everyone, right now before we head I out? I ain't gonna lie. All big ten niggas know what type of time we on, right? Stand up, stand up, don't kick. Like, like, we are going up though. Tune in, talk facts, new music dropping. For me, What's link in my bio. I said T dot two Oppy underscore. Go follow that. For me, run that shit up. All right, thank <laughs> you. Oh.